Remember all the fun and joy of your favorite game or childhood song. If only you could feel that way again. Again, again, again. Well, you don't have to go back in time. Cause Nick and friends can help you find long lost treasures you once loved. Let's go hunting nostalgia. Welcome to Hunting Nostalgia. Today is a really, really fun episode. It's right up my alley. I'm taking you yard sailing. Not just any yard sale, a very, very unique yard sale. It's in a barn and it's filled with vintage toys. So while I'm waiting for my cameraman, I'm in his garage, his bat cave. Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? Hedge clippers, Michael Keaton, Batman, big massive rack of weights, I guess. Uh, this is his bat cave. He's not gonna be thrilled that I started without him, but you know me, I just, I cannot wait. I'm too excited. I'm taking you yard sailing with the queen of yard sales. The queen, the absolute best in the world, my mother. She taught me everything I know. Yard sailing, hunting, finding the most for the least, it runs in my family, it goes back generations. My grandfather used to get up and go to downtown Pittsburgh, downtown, and wait for the cheese truck to pull into the Pittsburgh Macaroni Company. Trust me, this is something that is in my blood. But the second thing that is so special about today's episode, other than the garage sailing with my mother, the first opportunity that you the viewer has to get a piece of your childhood from me, Hunting Nostalgia, for 100% free. The only thing that you have to do, very Pee Wee Herman-esque, is remember the secret word in every single episode of Hunting Nostalgia. So this episode, in the description of the episode on YouTube, you're gonna find that secret word. And whenever you hear me say that word, write down the time. Message me that time on Instagram, boom. You're getting a special gift from Hunting Nostalgia. First come, first serve, but you can only win once. What do you say? You ready to do some yard sailing? By the year, it gets more difficult to find items in the wild. It gets more difficult to find items that I'm looking for, retro items, at yard sales and flea markets. But today, I'm in a very, very unique place. I'm actually at a barn, and the entire thing is retro toys. And I'm taking you with me. There's herds of people here. It's crazy. Oh my God, right off the bat, look at this. Can I do that? Oh, my family is gonna be so upset. For uh, for years and years, I would, um, my uncles who I've mentioned live right next door to me, when they would bring their girlfriends over to the house, um, they'd be watching a movie, romantic, dark, and all of a sudden, I would pop out from behind the corner dressed up as Steve Urkel. Just for, I cannot believe that I'm still alive. I can't believe that they did not kill me. They would tie me up and toss me down in the basement or whatever to get rid of me. But, oh my gosh, I am leaving here with this piece of uh, 90s just awesomeness. T Burkle. Oh, I can hear him already. Oh, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be an awesome day. Just looking around here, it is 80s and 90s just pounding me in the face. An entire pre-cut sheet of original Batman cards, 1989. Oh my God, look at Keaton in his glory. Oh my gosh, Power Rangers by Bandai, look at this. Now this here, Department 23. Hill's department store does not exist anymore, but sometimes I'll buy these retro items just because of that sticker. Hills is where the toys are. At low prices every day. I want to introduce you very quickly because Bob has a sale going on here. This is the guy who has this sale of all these amazing retro toys. His name is Bob, and he was kind enough to allow me to do all this filming and, and jibber-jabbering and acting a fool. 
Bob's a thank for that. You can thank him. <laughs> I'm joking. But Bob, how in the world did you come upon all this stuff? I go everywhere. Yeah? Yard sales, auctions, flea markets, you name it. But you love this. Oh, the hunt is the biggest part. He loves the hunt. Wow. He didn't even know the name of the show. I didn't even tell him yet. The actual name of the show is Hunting Nostalgia. I'm not after, I'm not after money. I'm not after that big, rare find that's going to get me a million dollars. I'm literally looking for items. I was here with my mother. I'm looking for items that remind me of times whenever I would go to the store with her and hunt for things like that. Does collecting run in your family? No, not really. No, no? Okay, so how did this start then? Did you just go out maybe with your wife and look for stuff? Yeah, we started together. I've always been into... Cars. You know, I mean, passions. And with Passion. the cars and the... Look at this. And then it just grew from there. So actually, this barn of yours is going to... You're turning it into a little bit of a store? In the back, yes. Is it just going to be cars or going to be all this stuff? Uh, a lot of the other stuff will be added in. Oh, eventually. man. Okay, so my stuff will be added in. The action right. figures, the, the the weird stuff, the trading cards. So I'm thinking, and I've, I've heard through the grapevine that Bob has an amazing collection that I hope someday he lets me take a look at. But uh, Bob, thanks for letting me uh, do all this. I appreciate no it so much. It's absolutely fantastic whenever you can find items like this. Dick Tracy. Um, I actually, I think I may have the yo-yo but not in the package, you know what I mean? They also show you the other yo-yos that came with this Double Dare yo-yo. Oh, wow, this is worth five bucks. One of the uh, best things about yard sales are the prices, and here, there are dollar bins. I can't wait to dig through these dollar bins. They're lining underneath all of these tables in here. Um, this is getting a little crazy. I had to step out from the barn sale for just a minute. They reached their social distancing maximum of people that are allowed in there today, which is absolutely fine. But I thought it was a perfect time for picking my 1,000 follower giveaway. Um, I appreciate it. You guys watching me, tolerating my ridiculousness, my smelling things, my singing of songs, I really, really appreciate you watching. Um, so I want to give back to you guys right now, and I want to give some toys away. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick a winner of the 1,000 follower Instagram giveaway right now. Um, let's see here, it's getting nice and jumbled up. All right, the winner of the 1,000 follower giveaway. If that's you, recaptured youth, 70s and 80s, message me on Instagram with your address. You just won the Hunting Nostalgia prize pack. If you didn't win, don't feel bad. I love giving stuff away, and I have a garage filled of stuff that I plan on giving away. So the next thing I want to talk to you about, but right before I get back into this amazing sale, is Elvira Taylor and her very, very special moment of nostalgia this week. I found something pretty exciting for her, and I sent it to her. And it's, it's in helping her complete one of her collections, a very amazing collection. So, Elvira, take it away. Thanks, Nick. And I'm Elvira with your moment of nostalgia today. So our topic is McDonald's toys. And if you guys go back to our first episode, my moment of nostalgia had to do with the McDonald's mini Barbies that started off in the early 90s. So Nick was nice enough to send me a package. And that's something that's so awesome with doing toy hunting, especially looking in for, you know, hunting for nostalgic toys, hunting in for vintage toys, going thrifting. Sometimes you'll find something for someone else like in this case, where it might be missing for their collection or something that just maybe you'll see it and go, wow, that person would really like that. So Nick sent me a package and I have no idea. Well, I kind of have a general idea what it is. Obviously we're talking about McDonald's and Barbies, but I have an idea of kind of what it is and it's to help me complete possibly my collection from the first episode. And if you guys haven't seen the first episode, First off, why not? Second off, I'll show a couple more pictures here of my collection and me putting up the new new ones of the old ones that I'm getting to complete the collection. So let's see what's inside this bag. All right, so I'm gonna open it up. I'm so excited to see which ones I got. It's kind of like a mystery bag, like a vintage mystery bag or so. Oh, and you put them in little Ziploc bags, nicely protected. We like that, we like protected ones here. So the first one's a birthday Barbie, and I wonder if the year is on the bottom of this one. It's, uh, no, it doesn't. 
It just says made for McDonald's. So I actually didn't have this one. I've actually never owned this one. And I don't know the name of the Barbie that she's supposed to be representing because <laughs> they made so many. They made like birthday surprise Barbie, birthday present Barbie, birthday, you know, so many. So here's the first one. And I'm so happy. And these are in pretty good condition too. Like some have a little more love than others. Another, I have definitely missed a lot of birthday Barbies. They did a lot of birthday Barbies in the 90s. I feel like now they only do one like every, it seems like every almost every year they do one in a collector's box, but before they used to have so many more. So here's another birthday Barbie and a roller skating Barbie that I was missing. She has her little helmet in her hand. I love that. And the last one, another birth, I missed a lot of birthday Barbies. Another birthday Barbie. Let me see if any of these have years on them. 91. And then this one, which is my favorite. I love that peach color that Barbie used to do a lot. I feel like they don't do peach anymore. Also, I think peach isn't really in anymore, but it looks really cute. And so here's the last one together. So I'm going to put these with the rest of my collection. I'm so excited. So one thing that you can really do with hunting, not only for yourself, is when you can go out and shop and see something that'll maybe spark a thought of, oh my gosh, my friend really collects those pogs from the 90s or McDonald's Barbies or like Hot Wheels car or something like that. So one thing fun out to do is while you're out, if you stop at a yard sale, always look for toys or look for things that maybe will spark a little bit of happiness with you. That's why I always do, especially Fridays and Saturday mornings or <laughs> out thrifting because these, especially the McDonald's Barbies, I would always find thrifting. Not as much anymore now that they're turning like 30 years old, but <laughs> When I used to go out, I used to find a lot more of them. So I'm interested to see what you guys, though, used to collect or find. So was there like a particular McDonald's series that you guys liked? Was it the Barbies? Was it the little nuggets? Was it, you know, I want to see what you guys collected from McDonald's, if you guys even went to McDonald's. <laughs> so that was for my moment of nostalgia, opening up the surprise package. And I love that. I love that. Maybe we should do surprise packages back and forth. That's a pretty good idea. I love that. Like mini, like open box openings or something <laughs> so let me know what you guys what should I send to Nick if I was to hunt for gosh he likes so many things obviously it has to do with wrestling come on all right all right Nick I'm on a mission I gotta find you some wrestling stuff now to send to you <laughs> so that was for my moment of nostalgia you guys make sure to check out my social media and my channel the doll circle bye guys back to you Nick awesome work Elvira absolutely fantastic the way that you view nostalgia it's just, it's awesome. Uh, you know what else is awesome? Dollar bins. You know what's even more awesome than that? 25 cent bins. Um, these, everyone, everyone knows what these are. When you would walk, and I specifically, for myself, I specifically remember walking into a grocery store uh, in downtown Mars, and there was this little chicken. And the chicken was inside of this, uh, you know, thin plastic uh, big box. And you'd put your 25 cents in, and then you'd press it in, and then that chicken would buck, 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 buck. It would spin around, and it would poop out a uh, New York Giants helmet. Um, look at it. It's so neat. These items, they're just, you know, everybody opened these instantaneously, and they slapped the stickers on, and they had their helmets. Um, this 25 cent bin here that I found, I think it has all of the teams. Look, the Houston Oilers, they don't even exist in the NFL anymore. You know, and this whole bag, guess what? 25 cents. This right here, this, this, all of this, this is hunting nostalgia. Just a few minutes that I have been here today, it's absolutely amazing. It has been, um, it's a holy crap moment. I walked into this barn, it is holy crap. It is stuffed to the gills with nostalgia. It is stuffed to the gills with items that I just, I cannot get enough of. Um, Shira, princess of power. Um, these items are all gone. They don't ex I mean, they're not gone because they're here. What I mean is holding on to an item like this your whole life is really difficult because you're going to flip through. You're going to read this, you know, you're going to look, um, you're going to look through these books and the bindings are going to break. The pages are going to fall out. You're going to draw a mustache on Hira or Shira, whatever, uh, Hira. That was a mix. That was a mix between He-Man and Shira. Sorry. Um, 
Look at how awesome these are. Toy guides. This is literally a guide of all of the items that Kenner made for this, this era. Now, starting lineup, RoboCop, Ghostbusters, sure, I remember. Bone Age and Skyball, I'm not overly familiar with. Uh, so this is a piece that can, oh, look at that. The ectoplasma. This is just, this is really, really neat. This is a piece that, um, as you can see in my hands, they fall apart. Over time, they deteriorate. Um, this was an amazing uh, place to be at today. And I was actually given this tip by my mother who is wandering around here somewhere. She is truly the queen. She is the She-Ra of garage sales. The day I held him off my sword and said, for the honor of Grayskull. I've learned everything that I know from her. Well, it's a rare condition this day and age. To read any good news on the newspaper page. And love and tradition of the grand design. Some people say it's even harder to find. Well, then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls. Cause all I see is a tower. Sorry. I'm sorry. So I've told you before, my mom is here, and um, she felt the effects of this uh, this little act that I used to do as Steve Urkel more than anybody. I think she's going to be pretty excited to see it. She's digging in a dollar bin. Can you imagine that? Mom. <laughs> you want me to dress up and play baseball as Steve Urkel? <laughs> Gosh, everybody would love that. <laughs> yeah, this is. Well, no, they you... really would. Well, come here real quick. What did you find? Show me what you found real quick here. Um, we found my Barbie. Oh, look at that. Little Barbie books that come. Did these these books used to come with the Barbies? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's that? That's what I want. Yeah, I wanted to show you this. Look. Oh. Well, oh my gosh! Oh, look at that. Look, it was Normies. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, Normie. Oh, That's poor funny. little Normie. Now, the respect and the love that I have for nostalgia, this is where it comes from. This is where I got it from. Look, she's wearing a Princess Leia vest. I mean, come on. How much better could it possibly get? What else is in there? I, well, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Kidding me? Oh, is that G? Oh, my, give me that, too. Give me that. Is that a kite? It's a kite, but I don't know who it is. Yep, yep, yep. Look, oh my look. gosh. Oh, G.I. Joe kite. Oh, all right. Well, my hands are full here. You're going to have to start holding stuff with me. Um, oh my gosh, how you used to twirl this is with that Steve Urkel thing. Let me see him. Let me see. <laughs> look at Steve. Oh my gosh. Did I do that? I can't even do the voice anymore, I don't think. Sure, you can. <laughs> Laura, wow. big guy find you a good find here didn't yeah I? you did you did see it's uh, this for all the sniffing of items all of the digging through dirt all of the dollar bins everyone can thank this woman right here oh little I don't know what that is but that looks really I know well my my nostalgia goes back further that's why you're a nostalgia that's right that is right that is true oh, this is mrs. Beasley and she no, this is too old now so this is from the 60s. She was on, she was a baby doll of a little girl that was on Family Affair. Anyway, I like Mrs. Beasley better than a big old bear. So do I. Good night. Good night, Uncle Bill. And that's who that is. That's Mrs. Beasley. We'll buy her. Oh, I don't know. What am I going to do with her? Oh, if you if that's how you live, then you're never going to have anything <laughs> fun. Oh my gosh! Look, a Barney Miller board game. ET cards. Oh, oh. Well, I might as well take a pack of those, right? Oh, sure. <laughs>
Well, oh. I have to head west. Oh, you're going to another place. Okay. Well, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I won't yeah. keep you anymore. No, but, no, no. Uh, but you know, you know, you don't know when I'm going to find you out that way. That's right. You don't know what you're going to find. And normally, I my favorite, my to normally my favorite uh, way to to yard sale is whenever I'm laying in bed still yeah, and you FaceTime me. Oh, it's the best. I can shop from my phone as she's sending me images from uh, no, from yard sailing. It doesn't through, get any better. I have to go through your wife because through my wife. Well, yeah, well, that's true. So that's true. I do. <laughs> that is true. Because I don't phone. answer my phone. Oh man. oh man. All right, I got a cash. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. This is the reason for the tip. nostalgia, right here. I need to borrow some money. All right, I'm out of here. All right. Thanks. Okay. Now I know you need a little bit of money. Well, I was. Yeah. yeah. Right. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I, I was... <laughs> Wait, no, but I have a couple things. I oh, want okay. to get these and um, the Noah's Ark over there. Oh, she has Noah's Ark? Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. Thanks. I'm, off. I'm going well. She owed me. She's owed me yeah. money for a long yeah. time. <laughs> That's a lie. Sometimes yard sales are the most hit and miss thing you could do. You could go out for 12 hours and find nothing. Or you can go to the first place that you stop at at 6.45 in the morning and you could walk out with a haul that you just would never, ever believe. Today was absolutely Wait amazing. Wait a minute. Stop. Uh, what? Are these the same shorts you wore Get off of the time? shorts. Get oh, off. It's, it's the show about they 80s. They haven't and... been in style okay. since this toy right All here right. was made. Back up. Back up. cargo shorts? Uh, stop it. I'm, I'm from the 80s, all right? What a fun day of garage sailing. Garage sailing is always fun, but it's not always successful. Today was. I got to go with my mother to a big giant vintage toy sale in a barn. Today was spectacular. I got so many items that have a very deep personal connection to me. That's what I'm after. Dollar bins, 25 cent bins. It was a great, great day. Uh, I found some cuties. Cuties are the cousin, I would say, to the muscle men. The millions of unusual creatures lurking everywhere. These weren't quite as cool. They were coolest ultra tiny individuals on earth. You know, I think if these girls were ready to fight, just like their muscle men brothers, I think that these would have been a massive success. Girls can fight too. These girls are jogging or lifting weights, you know. I think if these girls were ready to fight, I really believe the cuties would have been just as successful as the muscle guys. But, you know, they aren't. Um, we had 50 cent Batman glasses. You know, 50 cent bin, I couldn't pass up Batman. I mean, I'm in the Batcave. This was perfect. Um, two for one, Dick Tracy yo-yo. I've always loved the yo-yo. Ever since Pee-wee's Christmas special, Pee-wee can't decide if he has a yo-yo or if he needs to ask Santa Claus for one. Yo-yo? Put yo-yo on the list, cocky. Pee-wee, you already have a yo-yo. I do? Uh, affirm affirmative. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I do have a yo yo. <laughs> Round the world! Uh oh, look out at all! Uh oh. Better put a new camera on the list, cocky! <laughs> Pee Wee already had one, but he walks the dog around the world. I was hooked ever since. Look at the cold. Look. Double Dare, Batman, Batman. Speaking of Batman, one of the most exciting things that I found today was for my cameraman today. I'm able to add something to his massive collection. He's also a collector. He's a way different collector than I am. He creates his own memories. He creates stuff like this. This is an exact replica exact replica of the Dark Knight Rises helmet that they wore in the opening scene of that movie. It's perfect. I mean, has the year on the back, 2012. 
you can actually wear a fully functioning adult replica helmet of the Gotham Rogues. I really believe it's the only one in existence. And you can wear, it's actually, I mean, it's perfect. To be no, I didn't do it, Dork. Put it down. <laughs> now you'll talk. <laughs> jerk. Um, so that was the thing that I found for myself today that was the most exciting for me personally was Steve Urkel from Family Matters. TGIF. This guy, I annoyed so many people in my life with this impression. Did I do that? Laura, big guy. A talking Steve Urkel doll. I mean, I couldn't leave without this. He wasn't even supposed to be a mainstay on Family Matters, but he ended up being the star of the show, creating your own success. How cool is that? So that was my favorite thing that I got for myself today, but my favorite thing that I got for just period was for my cameraman. And it is an uncut sheet of 1989 Batman cards. How cool is that? You never see stuff like this. I'm not a mint on the card guy or a pristine guy. I don't care, you know, I'll dig through pretty much anything to find what I'm after. But this is something that I just couldn't pass up. And after our little rough start today, which was a rough start, I won't touch the camera again, okay? And now you won't talk. <laughs> uh, look at this, the backs are just as cool as the front. How amazing is that? That's something that I was really excited to find today for you. Um, another dollar bin find, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, made by Bandai. This was like the last toy that I remember getting for Christmas that I actually played with. I don't play with the toys anymore, I just collect them. I don't play with them, all right? Uh, but the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, so 90s, so cool. Look, they drew a little bit. Oh, there's my favorite. I'm Goldar. I'm possibly the most whiny villain in the history of villains. I've wasted far too much time on the likes of you. Oh, God. I'm going to color it again. I am, actually. I'm horrible. But uh, another thing that I found today, which I didn't really get this for the actual item. I don't need a Batman fan or a sidewalk chalk. But what I did want are those, look at those pristine Hills department store stickers. Hills does not exist anymore and it used to be where I would go with my mother and the smell of a soft pretzel or popcorn or even a red icy, boom, brings me right back to that moment where I'm thinking, boy, I hope I can behave myself long enough to get myself an LJN figure today. It's a memory that I'll never forget and any retro toy shops anywhere I go, you know, it has that Hill sticker on, jack up the price, I'll still buy it. Um, pixie cigarettes, touched on those. Who thought of that? You know what I mean? Mm, helmets, 25 cent helmets. It was just, it was such a fun day. Uh, Batman, I mean, we're in the Batcave. He's not, he's not my favorite superhero. I mean, he's okay, but he's not my favorite. Now, my actual favorite is this guy right here. Everyday man, he's an everyday reporter, almost like a little nerd, actually. But by night, you know what? You're a nerd. You're not gonna bring up Superman inside of the Batcave. We're done. <laughs> Let's go hunting the sound.